pike sit. You're gonna sit down, your legs flat out in front of you like this, almost like you're gonna do like a hamstring stretch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk our hands forward as far as we can so we start to feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick our feet up off of the ground. So you're gonna drive your hands into the mat, and you wanna pick your heels up off of the ground. And you see they're not gonna come up super high. In fact, for a lot of you, they're probably not gonna come up at all. So you may find that you have to walk your hands back a little bit. You wanna to try to get up to at least your knees. This is a really good place to start if you need to. And then walk your hands forward. And eventually you'll find that point where you're not able to lift them up anymore. And so we're looking for that spot where it's you know, a challenge to get them up a little bit. You're able to hold one, two, three, and then lower it back down. So that's it. Main thing is just watching that you're not rocking back. So one of the things that people will tend to do is push in and, and rock back like this to bring it up, and that's not what you want. So you can sit with your low back in, against a wall to help that if you feel like that's what you're doing because that'll keep you from rocking back. But again, just think about driving the hands into the ground, picking the heels up off of the mat, and then back down. But that's how you do a pipe sit.